Okay, so I know it hasn't been too long since my previous video, um, but the method for um, updating, modding and downgrading Beat Saber has changed again. Um, this is as of the V63 um, version update for the Meta software. Um, so we're going to look through quickly uh, the change in methods um, and then we'll run through the whole process. Um, so we can see here, as of v V63 update, the Quest 2 and Quest Pro are no longer modelable using BMBF or Quest Up version switcher. Like the Quest 3, you will have to use Quest Patcher. All right, and then there's just a little step by step here. Um, download Quest Patcher, download Quest Up version switcher, open Quest Up version switcher, follow setup assistant, downgrades 1.28. So we're still downgrading to the same version. They're just it's just the the modding method slightly different now. Um, but there's a highlight, do not let Quest Up version switch a patch Beat Saber or install mods. You go and switch to Quest Patcher, then go to Tools, click Quick Fix, Patch Beat Saber or Repatch in the Tools tab if you have already. Make sure Quest Loader is selected um, as the mod loader, install the core mods and other mods from the mods page. Um, so let's go over to, um, one thing I'll say, uh, Quest Up version switcher is still are uh, sideloaded onto the headset but quest patcher is only on pc well on on a computer sorry i think there's a mac version as well um so you can't do all this on the headset anymore like the previous video um at the moment you are going to need a computer um so that's a bit rubbish for s some people if they don't have one but if you've got a friend with a laptop or just get a cheap one off ebay or something like you you just need basic functionality um, so let's head over to side quest first. Um, as you can see, my quest two is connected, um, and all we're going to do is search QAVS, uh, and then there's quest up version switcher there. And we're going to scroll down, and we're going to side load that onto the quest. Okay, that's installed. Um, next, we're going to head over to uh, Download Quest Patcher. Um, now, this is on GitHub. I'll just post a link to this in the description, or you can just literally search Quest Patcher on Google and find it this way. Um, but yeah, if you get to this page, um, you want to scroll down, and there's one for Ubuntu, Windows Standalone in a zip file, or there's just an EXE. So I just use the Windows EXE. Um, once that's downloaded, uh, click your little folder to get to it. And it comes up with this notification. I think just Windows doesn't recognize that it's not malicious software. So if you get this, I'm on Windows 11, by the way. But yeah, if you get this, just click more info and then run anyway. And then install for all users or whatever you want to do. If you want to allow this program, yes. And then just go through it like you're installing a normal program, basically. Install that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's a mod uh, for in modding Quest 1, 2, 3 applications. Just open Patch App next. Okay, so we're not going to open that for now. We're going to click Finish. Um, and we're done with that. Uh, that's installed. So next, we're going to jump in the headset um, and use Quest App version switcher to downgrade Beat Saber to version 1.28, and then we'll jump back out to the PC and we'll run through the Quest Patcher process. Okay, so here we are in the Quest 2. Um, first thing we're gonna do is go to the library and in the little drop down menu at the top, go to unknown sources, uh, and then you'll see Quest App version switcher. So we're gonna open that. Um, you will get a little pop-up with this um, asking you to uh, grant access or something, I think, maybe. Uh, but just do that. It's, it's self-explanatory. And you'll end up on this screen, Beat Saber Modding. Just click Start. So it says, Beat Saber 1.28 has been downloaded successfully. Press Mod My Game to continue modding your game. Mod My Game. Um, this can take a little while, so I'll probably skip ahead here. Okay, now that's done, we're going to click Install Game. And you'll get this message, just click Start Uninstall. 
You want to uninstall this app, OK. After uninstall completed, press the continue button. If you didn't get a prompt, then press continue as well. Continue. Now that your old version is uninstalled, we can restore your backup. We're going to install the app next. Press the install button to start the installation. If your quest says package installer isn't responding, simply press close. Okay, so we're going to click install. Staging app. If you want to install this app, install. And restore app, we're going to click close. Step 2.1, grant access permission. This will give Quest App Version Switcher access to the game folder so it can install mods and restore app data and OBBS. Press use this folder on both prompts you'll get after press grant access. So now with this, if you click grant access, it will say can use this folder. So I believe this is why it's um, changed and we can't use BMBF or anything anymore because it can't access this. So once you're on here, just click back, keep clicking back until you get back to this step two, two. It might be an easier way to back out of that, but I found just clicking back. Uh, so we're on step two, two, grant access storage permission. This mod game will most likely need access to your quest storage. To grant this access to the app, press grant access below. Grant access, and then toggle that on. Click the back arrow. Step 2.4, press continue. We'll then validate whether the backup was successfully restored. Continue. You restored the backup. Com beat games beat server. Close. Right. And once you get to this page, don't click get mods. Click the back arrow again. Um, abort the restore because it's kind of trying to redo the whole process. Uh, and we can now see that we are on modded 1.28. There we go. So now we can close this off and we'll jump back out to the PC um, and use Quest Patcher to mod it. Okay, so here we are back on PC. Um, one thing I forgot to mention previously, when you're going through that process on Quest App version switcher, I'd already done it. Um, and I remember there being like, a few pop-ups saying like grant access where you had to toggle things on and then click back and then continue the um, sort of install and downgrade process. It didn't show up because I think I'd already done it, but if you're doing it for kind of like the first time, you might have a few more of those um, little pop-ups where you need to grant access and permissions and stuff. Um, but I thought I'd just mention that now in case you're like, why wasn't it on the video? Anyway, um, next we're going to open Quest Patcher. And you, you need to have your quest connected to your um, computer. Um, so we're going to go quest patcher. So let this load up. Okay, so once that's loaded, um, we're going to go to tools and options. And we're going to click quick fix. And that's done. Uh, and then we're going to repatch app. It allows you to change the model loader you have installed by repatching your app. Repatch, please choose the, mod, choose the mod loader to patch with and make sure you, you pick Quest Loader. Um, Scotland 2, I noticed, was something that appeared a while ago on the, the mods page, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. But anyway, repatch my app. Uh, and then that's going to download all your, um, I don't know what they're called, dependencies or something. Um, and once that's finished, See patching. So patching is complete. Your installation is now modded. You can now access installed mods, cosmetics, etc. Now, if you see a restore app prompt inside your headset, just press close. The chance of getting banned for modding is virtually zero, so it's nothing to worry about. I've never heard of anyone in the history of Quest being banned for modding, so don't worry about it at all. Um, so as you can see here. I think these are mods that I had installed previously. Um, then these are the libraries. Then I think what we have to do is go to the website. Um, uh, Questmodding.com. 
released mods. Uh, and then all we do is download the mods we want. So I'm just going to download. Did it say download core mods? Yeah. So I'm going to download all core mods. There's a Q mod there. And I'll download one other random mod just for the process. Um, let's go with any tweaks. So I'll download that. So you can see these are just downloaded as QMod files. It's the same as when we used to do BMBF. We'd just download the QMod files and copy them across. It's just a different program now. So we're going to go back to Quest Patcher. And I believe we just browse. And if I go to my downloads, so I can just double click the core mods. And that's installing. And you can see it's installing all the different core mods up here. Okay, that's done. And we're going to browse again and do any tweaks. So you can see they're all here now. And there's any tweaks. Enabled, enabled. These ones are disabled because I think it was just picking up some old files that were on my headset, especially like Replay and Hollywood. Um, in fact, Let's have a look for a replay. Where are you? I just want to see if um, installing. There we go. Installing this will then toggle Hollywood back on. For those of you who don't know, Hollywood is like the render section of replay. Um, it's disappeared there, so I'm assuming, um, replay in Hollywood, yeah, so if, if you've got any old mods showing like this disabled, just re-download those mods and it'll just toggle them back on. Um, so that seems to be it for a uh, quest patcher, very easy, um, we're going to close that off, close that off, uh, we'll jump back in the headset now, open up Beat Saber. Hopefully we'll be on version 1.28 and hopefully we'll see core mods, any tweaks installed. So then we know this whole process has worked uh, and that should be it. So let's jump in the headset now. Okay, so here we are back in the Quest 2. Um, all we're going to do now is open up Beat Saber and check to make sure everything's installed basically. So we're going to click on Beat Saber and you get this message. Just click open app. Don't click restore. Um, I'll close. Uh, and then what happens sometimes is the menu kind of pops up in front of the game. Just click on Beat Saber and then click Resume. Alternatively, what happens sometimes is Beat Saber will carry on loading and the sort of open app, close app message will then sort of load behind the game. So you can actually just carry on playing the game. And then when you back out of the game, you'll see the message there. But at that point, it doesn't really matter. So. Either way, just click open app, or if for some reason your points is invisible and you, you can't um, see where you're pointing, then the game will probably just load on its own. Uh, so we're going to check the floor first. So we can see we are on version 1.28 now. Um, also, over to the right, we can see the notice board, which isn't a part of Beat Server, that's part of the quest board team. Uh, and we can see to the left here, there's reload playlist, more songs, loaded mods. Uh, and if we go into settings, uh, we can see the mod settings. And we go to Quest UI, uh, and we can see the core mods. Uh, there's any tweaks that we installed and replay. Um, so yeah, that's it. Modded, uh, downgraded. So it's a bit annoying people having to use uh, a PC again, but. At the moment, that's the only method that's working. Uh, one good thing, I guess, is that it um, unifies all the headsets because this method, method is for Quest 1, 2, 3 and Quest Pro. Um, so at least everyone can just sort of follow the same guide and not be kind of confused. It's like, oh, this one works for Quest 2, this one works for Quest 3. Um, yeah. And hopefully in future BMBF comes back uh, and maybe we can do everything on the headset again. But 
for the moment, this is how it is. So thanks.